Cross-cultural charms, non-English traditions coloring English literature. Hello everyone. Today, we're diving deep into the world of literature to explore the fascinating influences of non-English literary traditions on English literature. This journey will showcase how diverse cultures have added rich layers and nuances to the tapestry of English stories and poems. Remember, literature is a reflection of society, and as societies interact, their stories blend and evolve. Before modern globalization, ancient civilizations like the Greeks and Romans left indelible marks on English literature. Whether it's the epic tales from Homer influencing English epics, or Roman poetic forms shaping English verses, these ancient societies formed the bedrock of Western literary traditions. The East, with its mystical tales, philosophical verses, and profound spiritual texts, has a significant influence on English literature. Writers like Rudyard Kipling and E. M. Forster were deeply influenced by the Indian subcontinent, weaving its colors into their works. Moreover, the haiku form from Japan and Chinese fables found their way into English poems and stories. The Middle Eastern tales, such as The Thousand and One Nights, not only introduced characters like Aladdin and Sinbad to the English-speaking world but also influenced its narrative styles and themes. These tales, with their complex story within a story structures and moral lessons, enriched English storytelling. Closer to home, European literature has been both a companion and competitor to English literature. The introspective works of Russian writers, the romantic verses of French poets, and the dark, introspective tales of German authors have all left their mark. Think of the influence of Dostoevsky's existentialism or Goethe's Faust on English writers. We mustn't forget the native traditions of lands colonized by the English. The folklore, myths, and legends of places like Africa, Australia, and the Americas influenced English authors stationed or traveling there. Their exposure to these stories led to a blending of native narratives into English literary forms. And that's a wrap on our whirlwind tour of the cross-cultural influences on English literature. It's astonishing to see how interconnected the world of literature is. It reminds us that, at our core, we all share the same human experience, just through different lenses. We hope you enjoyed this journey and are inspired to read more, learn more, and appreciate the global threads in the stories you encounter. Happy reading!